Hey, what's going on guys? Chad here, and this is the new Final Mouse Tens Edition. Still in the box, still sealed. I just got it off the porch, and I wanted to open this one on camera because the first two copies I've had have had terrible quality control issues, and Final Mouse actually lied about me, saying that I broke the first mouse I had two times, when in fact, it came broken from the factory. I sent it off to them to get it repaired, they fixed it, and I sent that mouse off and sold it to a viewer, and he's been happy with it ever since. The second mouse I bought was a Phantom and it came with a broken scroll wheel and it just sits in my closet. I didn't even bother RMA it. I'm kind of over it at this point. And you know, hopefully this one is good for my sake because I've spent a lot of money on these mice now, like a lot to bring these reviews to you guys. And then when the company calls you a liar, it doesn't feel very good. So we're gonna see how good this one is on camera. If it's good, then I'll give them praise. If it's bad, well, you know, I'm not really gonna be surprised because that would be the third time. <laughs> just so we're clear here, right? That's a sealed mouse. No way that it's been opened. Okay, so I'm gonna open it up now. All right. Opened, boom. All right. Well, it definitely looks good inside the box. I'll give them that. All right, so, so far it feels solid on the sides. Buttons feel okay. Holy shit. Did I actually get a good copy? I mean, the scroll wheel is definitely way better than any other scroll I've ever had on a final mouse. I can tell you that right now. <laughs> I can actually feel the individual steps and it doesn't just feel like I'm turning some broken piece of plastic like my last mouse did. Yeah, build quality feels good. Everything feels good so far. I definitely like the smooth buttons as opposed to the uh, all the crap they had on there before with the other mice. Hmm. This is literally what I do with every mouse when I get out of the box. I just do this on camera because, you know, it's kind of boring. <laughs> but for this mouse, I just wanted to do it on camera. So the scroll is still kind of bad compared to like other standards in 2022 but at least it feels like it's not gonna be broken, so I'll take it. It's not bad, I mean, it's good for Final Mouse, and I actually like the smooth texture here. It's pretty grippy, feels good. You know, I like the look too, it's nice and smooth, and it kinda goes with the black line on top here. So yeah, overall, I like it, how it looks. I thought it was probably gonna look a little better in person, if I'm honest, but I've got a lot of light on right now for filming, so it might look different once I turn all that light off. There's a little bit of pre and post travel on the right button, unfortunately. Either way, not too bad, totally usable. Finally, thank you for sending me something that is not broken out of the freaking box, holy shit. Took long enough, right? Let me see the feet, let me get a mouse pad out. Yeah, hey, feet feel good. I'll only plug it in and actually use it. Oh cool, they got the new skins in here too. I'm excited to try those, those would be nice. So let's see the scroll wheel, if it has the same stupid issues as my last one. Seems like they fixed that, at least with my copy. All right, so so far so good, everything feels good. Nothing rattling, nothing creaking, nothing flexing as far as I can tell. Button wobble feels much better than on the previous mice that I had. Nothing's broken, everything works, so that's really good. Scroll is decent enough for sure. Way better than any scroll I've ever had on a final mouse, so that's encouraging. But yeah, if you guys have any questions about this, I will be doing a full review coming up, so drop your questions down below and I'll try to get those answers in the review. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.